Welcome to RPB Resonance Chemistry. Now let's continue our organic chemistry tried in series of videos. In this session, I'm going to discuss about um, chapter number 21 that is electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. Simply aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction. Now onwards, I'll convey the thoughts of author to uh, like CSAR net gate and IIT gym, the IIT jam aspirants. Okay, now so the topic is electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. Electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. Okay, simply it is the electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. Okay, so now generally aromatic compounds is a kind of uh, alkenes that is is a kind of uh, unsaturated molecules. So generally unsaturated compounds, a simple alkenes or uh, alkynes, it undergoes the addition reactions. But uh, aromatic compounds cannot undergo the addition reactions. The first thing, okay. So general unsaturated compounds, it undergoes the addition reactions. But in the same the case, even though aromatic compounds are unsaturated, but it cannot give the addition reactions. The first, like uh, this is the first question for us, okay. So now the second one. Some of the aromatic compounds, if uh, some of the aromatic uh, substituted compounds, some of the compounds will uh, direct the like uh, ortho and para position, okay, like a first and a fourth, second and fourth position. But some of the groups it uh, directs the third position, that is nothing but a meta position, okay. Now, based on the substituent nature, it is uh, deviated from uh, like uh, either ortho para direction or meta direction, okay. So it is a uh, different, different cases are there. In this in this chapter they are well explained how it is happened okay so uh, which type of uh, substituents will give the ortho para products and uh, which type of substituent will give the meta product they are clearly mentioned so uh, some of the exceptions also some of the exceptions also so don't waste our time now let's move on to the topic uh, that is uh, aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction this is the like initial video of the chapter 21 so now generally so before going to the topic we are uh, aware about a simple thing that is ketoenal totomerism okay so ketoenal totomerism this is the compound that is nothing but a three pentanol okay so generally it it easily undergoes the ketoenol ketoenolization simply ketoenol formation so here the ketoenolization in presence of a deuterium so it produces the d plus okay now it undergoes the ketoenol totomerization OD okay so this is the od so this is the od so whenever this bonded to two electrons that is a lone pair of electrons will shift it towards the like a carbon oxygen single bond then it becomes a negative charge that negative charge will obstruct the electrophile will capture the electrophile and it forms the like a deuterium so here it is one hydrogen and one deuterium so this is the simplest compound deuterium plus okay so whenever the loss of a, a d plus a deuterated plus so now we will get the like a alpha electrophilic sub alpha electrophilic substitution reaction simple one okay so whenever we will repeat the uh, these kind of uh, steps in four times now we will get the like a uh, four substitutions so this is the product okay so now here this is the keto form here it is the enol form the keto and the enol form keto and the enol forms so they both are equilibrium to each other so general aliphatic compounds ketone content is more some of the exceptions are there okay so generally aliphatic compounds keto content is more but uh, some of the aromatic compounds no doubt some of the aromatic compounds so it exists only in all form that is the the aromatic compound which exists only stabilized in all form that is nothing but a phenol that is nothing but a phenol so the same thing so it, it is the general aliphatic one which is treated with deuterium it is substituted the deuterated plus that uh, that is a, a d plus ion at the alpha position so that means a ketoenol tautomerization position okay now what will happen the phenol treated with a d3o plus that is a deuterated water heavy water so what will happen okay so we don't know whether uh, it produces the like a uh, deuterated phenol or like a two four six a uh, tri substituted tri deuterated phenol or all the protons are replaced we don't know okay so but uh, so author was concerned now with the help of uh, author was uh, gives the complete information with the help of uh, nmr spectroscopy okay now let's move on to the those nmr spectroscopy details
okay now the phenol treated with deuterium what will happen we don't know okay so but uh, so that that spectrum that phenol this is this is the simplest phenol form phenol so the spectrum of phenol at 5.2 so again here it is a 6.228 here it appears two types of peaks okay this is the 200 megahydro spectrum that's why we cannot able to uh, complete the those uh, triplet and uh, multiplet uh, those uh, splitting clearly okay this is the 200 megahydro spectrum okay so whenever this is treated with deuterium this is treated with deuterium so now we will get the like a product like this o d d d d okay so now we will get the product like this so that in that was confirmed by the our uh, that was confirmed by the our nmr spectroscopy that was confirmed by the our nmr spectroscopy here the all the peaks are disappear here the aromatic uh, peaks are disappear so these aromatic peaks are related to the like the second proton third fourth proton sixth proton okay so when you go through the nmr study you will easily confirm that so second fourth sixth protons are disappeared when it is treated with deuterium so that indicates so, uh, the second fourth sixth position was substituted by the deuterium ion was substituted by the deuterium ion so this is the nmr study confirms that it undergoes the deuteration it it will produce as a second four six okay two four six uh, tri deuterated uh, phenol tri deuterated phenol okay so now this was how it is happened okay whether it uh, it uh, undergoes the which type of mechanism whether it follows the which type of mechanism now let's move on to the mechanism i think it is clear whenever phenol treated with the deuterium it produces a uh, 246 uh, deuterated phenol deuterated phenol okay now here so this is the phenol so in the chapter they are clearly mentioned that how to draw the benzene rings okay so this is also benzene ring uh, representation okay this is the best better representation in case of naphthalenes so this is the naphthalene better representation instead of uh, instead of this so this is the best representation now here benzene it is better but whenever it is having the substituent will go through the like a uh, complete mechanism so this is the way best representation of aromatic rings okay now let's move on to the uh, phenol which is treated with the deuterium what will happen heavy water deuterated water deuterated water so simply here it is the phenol phenol okay so simply deuterated phenol deuterated phenol which is treated with simply which undergoes the like a keto enol tautomerization which undergoes the like a keto enol tautomerization which undergoes the keto enol tautomerization so this bonded free electrons will shift towards the uh, like a ortho position carbon atom ortho position carbon atom now we will get a, so here it is the negative charge that negative charge will obstruct the deuterium d plus simply it is the deuterium so now here deuterium so one hydrogen is hydride now here od od okay so this is the like a keto form not the enol form now here it is the enol form enol form is stabilized by the its aromatic nature stabilized by the its aromatic nature so here it is the keto form it is the keto form so that keto form was destabilized due to the lossing of their aromaticity okay so this is the keto form but it is unstable why because it lost their aromaticity nature it lost the aromatic nature that's why it is unstable okay so that's why it undergoes the like reversal of reaction now whether it is it, it here two types of reactions are there whether it undergoes the like a simple d elimination that is a d plus elimination it will produce s now here so simple d plus elimination it produces deuterium compound okay this is the compound general one or instead of deuterium so here it undergoes the like ketoenol tautomerization ketoenol tautomerization now it produces od substituent at a substituent at ortho position substituent at a ortho position this is the simplest uh, uh, aromatic substitution reactions in phenol compound so this is the mono substitution like we follow the similar mechanism we will get the like di substitution also di ortho substitution so this is the simplest mechanism 
Okay. Now the third one, how the aromat like how the electrophile that is nothing but a D plus is substituted at para position. We don't know. Now let's move on to the that mechanism also. So that is the final one of a phenol compound. Okay, now here this is the simplest phenol OD. Okay, so now here deuterium, deuterium. Okay, so now the lone pairs of oxygen will shift it towards the towards the ring. Okay, so then now I'll write the these double bonds like this for the sake of our simplicity. Okay, so now here it creates the excess of counter. Then bonded two electrons will shift it towards the another atom. So then these bonded two electrons will shift at the para position. That is the fourth position. Then will obstruct the D plus. Then will obstruct the D plus. Now here it produces the double bond shifted over here. Okay, now here it creates the deuterium. Deuterium and H double bond over here. So this is the OD along with the positive charge. Here deuterium, deuterium. Here is nothing but a hydrogens. Here it is the hydrogens. Here it is the hydrogen. Then it undergoes the again uh, para ketoenal tautomerism. This is simply it is nothing but a paramerism. Okay, so para tautomerism, para tautomerism. Now here it undergoes the like para tautomerism. Here the loss of H plus, loss of uh, H plus. So it regains the aromaticity it regains its uh, aromaticity deuterium od deuterium d so here these two are protons only these two are protons only this is the simplest uh, substitution reactions whenever phenol treated with the deuterium okay this may be uh, like asked in like uh, this may be possible to ask the ccr examination also ccr examination this is the initiation of uh, chapter 21 Okay, so from these thoughts, they are uh, extrapolating the subject of arom electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction with uh, benzene rings. So that is the, our first doubt. What is that? So unsaturated compounds will undergo the addition reactions, but aromatic compounds cannot give the addition. So instead of addition reaction, it will give the substitution. So how it is possible? Now let's move on to the our second one, our first doubt. Okay, so I think it is clear. So the phenol treated with the deuterium, it produces the two, four, six, uh, like two, four, six deuterated phenol. So three and fifth position, third and fifth position will not be deuterated. So due to the its uh, electron releasing capacity. Okay, now uh, later on cases we will explain the why it is not deuterated. Okay, now let's move on to the aromatic electrophilic substitution reactions in aromatic compounds. think it is clear okay so now so in generally okay so in generally so this is the olefin simple olefin will undergoes the like bromination so it gives the anti-addition we are discussed we are very familiar with this type of anti-addition in chapter 19 okay so I'll upload the chapter 19 and I will give those uh, link in description box also. So, which is treated with the parasites. So, here also it gives, it produces the epoxide. So, this is also our familiar chemistry. This is also our familiar epoxide chemistry. So, here olefins will undergo the like bromination as well as epoxidation. But at the same time, the aromatic compound, simple benzene, which treated with the bromine, it cannot use the like addition reaction. It cannot use the disubstitution reaction. So similarly, here also the benzene, which treated with the RCOOH, so here also it does not gives the, it does not gives the addition reactions. It does not gives the addition. Here it is the anti-addition. Here it is the syn addition. So both the cases we cannot get the uh, we can we can substitute the aromatic the aromatic uh, reactant. It cannot gives the product. It cannot gives the product. That indicates aromatic compounds cannot gives the addition reactions. Cannot gives the addition reactions. You can uh, write the that particular statement. Aromatic compounds cannot gives the addition reactions. Okay, so now, so if addition is not possible, then we are looked out uh, substitution reactions. How it is possible? Now let's move on to the substitution reaction of aromatic compounds. So this is the aromatic compound. Okay, simply, this is the aromatic compound. So the aromatic compound will treat it with the bromine. 
So with the help of some of the Lewis acids like uh, AlCl3 or Fe, if bromine is taken, FeBr3, if chlorine is taken, Fe, Fe, uh, like FeCl3, those kind of uh, uh, catalysts are used. Catalysts are used. So whenever the aromatic compounds are treated with the bromine, here one of the hydrogen atom, one of the hydrogen atom was substituted by the incoming electrophile. It was substituted by the incoming electrophile. That indicates aromatic compounds cannot undergo the addition reactions but it always undergoes the electrophilic substitution reactions electrophilic substitution reactions it undergoes ESR reactions okay now how it is possible let's move on to the mechanism of the uh, electrophilic substitution reaction of aromatic rings okay so simply here it is the benzene ring so the benzene ring will treat it with the electrophile okay so it, it attracts the electrophile so if there is any double bond is there, the bonded two electrons will shift it towards the uh, like a top side of the carbon atom that indicates here top one becomes a negative, bottom one becomes positive. Okay, so then negative will abstract the electrophile. So the other other end of the carbon atom, other end of the olefin will get the positive charge only. Okay, these two steps simply it is represented as this kind of arrow. These two steps simply it is represented as this kind of arrow. Now here the, this arrow indicates so the bonded two electrons will shift it towards the top of the carbon atom. So then that top of the carbon atom will obstruct the electrophile. Now it creates the electrophile. Okay, another end is positive charge. Another end is positive charge. Here it is the intermediate. Okay, so but this intermediate is very unstable. Okay, so whenever compared to the reactant, so the reactant is aromatic compound, but our intermediate is very unstable one due to the its losing of the aromaticity. Okay, so this is the cationic intermediate. Cationic intermediate. So, but it is very unstable. Okay, so the instability was uh, stabilized by the delocalization. Now I'll explain the delocalization of those cations also. Okay, so then finally these hydrogen atom will shift it, will uh, share their pair of electrons with a carbocation and regains and it regains the aromaticity and it regains the aromaticity. So now it it uh, substituted the electrophile. Simply here the loss of H plus, which gives the its aromatic nature written back which gives the its aromatic nature in written back so this is the simplest uh, electrophilic substitution reactions in uh, aromatic compounds okay now so this is the very unstable intermediate but it was uh, stabilized by the cations now let's uh, discuss the those stabilization of cation okay positive charge here it is the electrophile okay so here it is the simple electrophile now here double bonds okay so these double bonds will undergo the delocalization now the bonded two electrons will shift it towards this carbon atom then it becomes a double bond so here loss of electrons it is the positive charge this is the positive charge so again these double bond also similarly are delocalized the same way now here the positive charge will shifted over here okay so simply it, this is the delocalization of aromatic electrophilic substitution reactions simply these kind of intermediates is called sigma complex this is the one of the type of intermediate in electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions okay i think it is clear so aromatic compounds treated with electrophile it produces the like a uh, electrophile substituted so that means a uh, electrophile which is a substituted the hydrogen one of the its aromatic hydrogens and it produces the electrophilic uh, electrophilic aromatic compounds electrophilic aromatic compounds okay now here this is the cationic intermediate that cationic intermediate was uh, stabilized by the its delocalization stabilized by the its delocalization so in generally this is the concept of uh, first chapter initiation okay so but uh, whenever you will select for the like bulk or ongc those kind of uh, like a highly competitive competitive field so they are asked in the interviews uh, in this chapter particularly they may be asked in the in this chapter asked the questions in this chapter so that is the first thing so here aromatic electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions will produce as the cationic intermediate we know that so uh, that's that's all we know that okay so but uh, how it is confirmed okay aromatic compounds will undergo the uh, uh, aromatic electrophilic substitution reactions via cationic intermediate so how do you confirm that cationic intermediate? Okay, so then our faces are whitened. Okay, so how do you confirm the like our cationic intermediate? 
So this was confirmed by the spectroscopic studies. Simply, now I'll explain the dose confirmation of uh, those confirmation of cationic intermediate. Okay, now let's discuss the those cationic intermediate. So whenever this is the aromatic ring, so which is treated with a like a non-basic and non-nucleophilic reagent. So that is nothing but a SBF6 minus. So this is non-basic and non-nucleophilic reagent. Non-nucleophilic reagent. So which is in the form of SBF5 plus FS43H. So this is the combination. If these two combination will produce as the SBF6. Okay. So that will produce as the like a cationic intermediate. So that it produces the cationic intermediate. So that cation was delocalized in the uh, three uh, like uh, uh, all the five carbon atoms. That was the delocalized all the five carbon atoms. So in this case here it is the electrophile. So the positive charge was delocalized uh, around the five carbon atoms. We know that. Okay. So now here it is the cation. So that cation again here F minus will shift it towards the SB F5. So then it gets the octahedral environment. Octahedral environment. This is the SBF5 structure. Whenever F minus will attack the SBF5, that negative charge distributed over all the compound. That negative charge distributed over all the compound. So this is the formation of cationic intermediate. This is the formation of cationic intermediate. So that was studied by the proton and the NMR studies as well as X-ray spectroscopic study. It will it will it it will use the information. It forms the cationic intermediate. Okay. So now here. So this is the cationic, that, that's why this is the hydrogen, okay, now here positive charge, positive charge, okay, that positive charge was delocalized around the 5 carbon atoms, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, this is the numbering, okay, so now, so according to data of proton and C13 NMR data, 3, 5 and 4th position, okay, so proton data, so the first position, the proton data is simply, it is uh, 5.6. Now, second and sixth position, that is 9.7. Third and fifth position, 8.6. And fourth position, that is nothing but uh, like uh, 9.3. That is nothing but 9.3. Again, similarly, C13 LMR data, that is 52.2. Now, second and sixth position, carbon atoms, uh, that is 186. Okay, so third and fifth position, that is uh, approximately 170. Okay, now here 178. Uh, here it is approximately 160, around 160 ppm. Around 160 ppm. So that indicates second, sixth and fourth position was uh, uh, delocalized with the positive charge. But the third and fifth cannot uh, uh, cannot replace the positive charge. Okay, so third and po third and fifth position, so the positive charge cannot appear. So that's why it gives the less uh, less chemical shift values, less chemical shift values. It was uh, conf also confirmed by the like uh, X-ray studies. Here positive charge is 0 0.26. Here positive charge is 0 0.09. The fourth position positive charge is 0 0.3. So this is the like uh, positive charges of uh, delocalized ring. Okay, so in this way we are confirmed cationic intermediate is formed okay so this is the very simple introduction video of chapter 21 chapter 21 now in the next video i have to cover so the nitration sulfonation friedel craft alkylation friedel craft acylation again the total summary of the reaction total summary of the electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction simply that aromatic compound is benzene so whenever benzene will undergo the nitration what will happen sulfonation Friedel Craft alkylation, Friedel Craft acylation. So these four topics was covered in the next video. Okay, I think it is very helpful for you guys. If you like this video, you can share to your friends. Okay, that is very helpful for them. Okay, thank you so much for watching.